welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone is doing great. Again, I'm in the bedroom. If you are new, and I know I have a lot of new subscribers, so I really appreciate it, but we are in the middle of moving somewhat. We do have a new home. We're doing renovations, so we're slowly packing, and the house is kind of a mess <laughs> and boxes everywhere, so this is the only place I really kind of feel comfortable that actually looks halfway decent, so I apologize for there's Bo, this thing, and I have Henry down here. We have two cats, um, but I apologize for the same backdrop every time. But today I have some fall DIY centerpieces for you, and I'm really excited about it. Floral arrangements are actually my favorite thing to do. <laughs> Fun fact, our wedding, so four, yeah, 14 years ago now, I did make all of our table centerpieces, all the bridesmaids bouquets, my bouquet, I did them all and then over the years I've done bridal showers, baby showers for like all my friends and family and I absolutely love doing floral arrangements. So I hope you guys enjoy this as much as I did and it gave you some ideas. So let me know down below what you think. And then also I wanted to tell you, I do try and timestamp all of my DIY videos. So I'll, it's down in the description box below or on along the red bar bless you, <laughs> he sneezed, <laughs> along the red bar at the bottom of the video, just in case you do kind of want to skip around or go to a certain one so you don't have to watch the whole video if you don't want to. Again, I hope you guys like this. Let me know down below or if you have any questions. And thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Everything I'm using for this one is from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start with this wall decor sign and it is the bigger size. My Dollar Tree carries two sizes, uh, this size and a smaller one. So I am using the bigger size and I'm going to be taking these leaves that I cut off all of the, I bought the garland of leaves and I cut them all the way down to their stems and then I'm going to make a border out of them. So just hot gluing those on there. Then I'm going to be using E6000 and hot glue and gluing both the floral foam pieces down. Then I'm taking all of the sprays and the picks. I'm cutting them down so they'll fit easier into the foam. Then I'm just gonna start going through and pushing them in. I'm not using any hot glue when I'm doing all the sides. I just did that on the leaves. And then once I get all of the sides done, I'm going to take these little candle holders and take the E6000 glue and glue those down. And the candle holders do come in a four pack, so it's four for $1.25. So then once I have those glued down, it's just the same process I'm doing on the top. So the completely your preference, just pushing them down where I would like. And I'm going to put the tea lights in there also from Dollar Tree. They come two to a pack and I love how they flicker. But I really love how this turned out. And you guys can use different colored floral and not the traditional fall colors. But I love this. So you guys have to let me know down below what you think. For this one, everything again is from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go in with this chalk paint color. You can spray paint this. I just didn't have the color I wanted on hand. So I am painting it and I'm going to do the front and the back. The stem I'm not worrying about because I know I'm going to use twine on it. Then I grab this 8 inch chunky slap from the DT. Again the same color. I'm just painting one side. This is going to be the base and I picked up the metal words and I chose harvest and thankful and I am going in and spray painting these. Once those dry, there's Henry, one of our kitties. He's our polydactyl. He has extra toes. But I'm going in with the E6000, and I'm going to be gluing those down onto the pumpkin. And I'm going in with a really light hand and just doing little drops. Then I just took the end of a paintbrush. Some of the glue, the stringy part, was getting across the letter, so I was just trying to get that off. And I did that for the harvest as well. And then once you have that done, I am going to work on the stem. So I'm going to take the twine and you don't have to do this. You could paint the stem if you wanted to. I just wanted to do something a little bit different. And as you can see here, it's not straight or perfect. I am going over each strand. And then once I got to the top and it curved, I do have to use a little bit more glue just because the way it's curved. 
And once that is done, I decided to go ahead and wrap the edge of the base in twine as well to help tie them together. And this didn't take too long and I ended up going around the base three times. So that way I think it will just look better in the end. And this is what the base looks like. Now I'm gonna take the floral foam and I'm using the E6000 in hot glue again and I'm going to place that onto the base. And once I get that on there, I'm gonna take the pumpkin and I'm gonna be pushing the pumpkin down, trying to figure out exactly how I want it placed on there. Once I have that figured out, I'm just taking the hot glue along the bottom, pressing it back in, and then I'm gonna take the hot glue along both sides at the bottom as well. Here I was contemplating what to do because I knew it was missing something. So I decided to take the twine and go back in and go over the side of the pumpkin. And this really was not hard at all to do and it didn't take that very long. I just had to go back in with my little craft scissors when I was done to try and get some hard pieces of glue off. Okay, we're almost done. So now I did grab five of these picks and just like the other flower arrangement, I'm going to be pushing those little branches and the leaves all the way up and cutting them down to make them easier to work with. And I also have these flowers and then I am just pushing them down in there. I'm not using hot glue on this either. And this is personal preference and completely up to you. Whatever I am doing on one side, I am trying to match on the other side. Since this is the front and the back, you'll be able to see both sides. I wanted to try and make it a little bit uniform. I didn't, it's not exact, but it's close. Then I picked up a, this bag of pumpkins and I believe there was five in there. I also had to cut those down and again, just placing them around where I'd like and I had a couple of these berries. I absolutely love how this turned out and I really like that there is a front and a back. So if you have this in the middle of your table, everyone sitting around the table will have a good view and not just the back of something. And I really like that I did end up doing the twine around the pumpkin and around the edge of the base. I feel like that helped tied everything together. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this and it gave you guys some ideas. Let me know down below and let's get started on the last one. Okay, for the last one, Bo or other kitty will be helping, but I grabbed this garden dish from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna spray paint it the same color that I used the words in the previous piece. And I'm also gonna be spray painting this little vase from the Dollar Tree as well to make a stand just for another option in case you just don't wanna leave it in the little dish. Now I'm gonna grab two floral foams and I, my goal here is to stagger them. So I cut a little piece off one and then I wanted to do three, but I had to grab another piece of foam because the other one I didn't feel like was tall enough. And then once I have all those, I'm going to use the E6000 in hot glue again and glue them down into the dish. I'm grabbing three pumpkins, one of them bigger. This is the biggest one. I'm gonna be sticking a toothpick in it. It's just styrofoam. And I'm gonna be placing that on the tallest one. And then the other two pumpkins, which are a cream colored, I'm gonna be placing them on top of the other two foams. Then all of the sprays and picks that I will be using, just like the other floral arrangements, I'm gonna be cutting them down and taking them apart just so they're easier to work with. And then I'm just going to start placing them around. And here I decided I needed something underneath the pumpkins to help blend everything. So I'm taking this garland of leaves and I'm cutting them all the way up off to the top. And then I'm just taking a little bit of hot glue and I'm gonna be putting those underneath the pumpkins. And then I'm also going to be taking the hot glue and I'm going to be pulling that leaf up onto the pumpkin and actually gluing it onto the pumpkin like you can see here. I just like this look a little bit better than putting a flower right there. So I'm gonna do that to all the pumpkins and then I'm also gonna go in the sides there a little bit just to help again, blend everything together. And then once I have this done, then I'm going to start placing all the flowers and little pumpkins and those little branches all around. And then once I was probably about halfway done, so the back of it, it was bothering me and I couldn't figure out what it was. So I stopped at one point and then I'm gonna start this the next day and I decided I wanted another floral foam piece and stagger it at the back. So here's 
where I'm doing that now and I just cut it down and then again glued it on there with another pumpkin and here I'm going to finish up with the florals and other picks. And here you could leave it in the tray, but I did spray paint that little vase and going in with the E6000 glue, I'm going to put that bowl on top of it. So that way it gives it a little bit more height if you would like. Then I just took a little plaid ribbon from the Dollar Tree and tied underneath it. You could always do different colored flowers or even change the pumpkins out to maybe the tea lights like I used in the first centerpiece. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It gave you some ideas and thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye guys.